we know what success looks like. The big question remains political leadership, political will. And this is where differentiation lies in because some countries will have to do more and others will have to do less. And some might lie in between. Let me just detail this. We know we need to stand for climate justice and this needs to be detailed in a more meaningful way so it makes sense to all. That also general audiences in Western Europe or OECD countries actually figure this out from a relative vantage of an advanced economy. We need to consider equity and urgency. Now, I'm very seized with the notion of opportunity because I think it's very big, it's equally important, and it's the only way we can drive this agenda away from being only an existentialist crisis and to keep people along with this flow. Now, the how, that's the what. The how is straightforward technical support, but it differs per country. It can be high-level technical support, but it needs to be quick, needs to be available, and it needs to be affordable. And very often, it's still costed by the countries themselves. Here, we need to fix that. Equally so, I think we've lost a lot of time in focusing too much in a lot of agendas on mitigation as opposed to adaptation. I now, we know, now know both need to happen, but we need to make up for lost time. When it comes to finance, of course, very often the elephant in the room. I've been a minister for trade and aid. I've worked a long time for the UN. The best ideas fall foul of lack of political will, or affordability and finance. The substance most can agree to. Now, on the MDBs, we really think as shareholders and as partners in this endeavor, the reforms, the capital adequacy framework reforms need to happen now. There's an institutional burden of proof and leadership at the MDBs, as well as the IFIs, as well as the shareholders. I think President Ritu said that as well. We're all in this. We own part of it. We need to make this happen. We also see potential in differentiated pricing, in hybrid capital. It's only a pilot, but let's make the pilots work and scale them up. Too much time is lost in talking about pilots that remain standalone pilots. Secondly, private sector. I've heard a lot in recent years on how the private sector is willing, and I'm fully convinced, yet they need very often the right governance framework, they need to know which partnership they are part of, and they need scalable and ca callable projects where governments, such as mine, can guarantee the risks. The onus should not be on the developing or highly indebted country to also guarantee the risk. This is where I think we sometimes fail to connect the dots. Now, last but not least, governments. We need to really make serious business out of onward lending of the SDRs. We also need to increase the SDRs. We need to provide the additional finance. Now, as a Minister of Finance, of course, my other hat, I'll tell you, this is not a very popular theme. Everybody nods, yes, very important. No, we agree with Mrs. Kag. But then it's either cost-cutting or it's increase of taxation or other means of financial uh, availability. And this is where domestic audiences suddenly become reticent. This is where political will comes in to make this a shared agenda for all of us. It's not easy, it can be done. We actually won elections on this ticket in the Netherlands last time round. I don't think we'll do as well this time, but still, it can be done. Um, innovation, an obvious one. Blended finance mentioned. Green bonds, we were the first AAA rated country that issued green bonds. We can assist other countries, but we also need to find ways for many of the developing countries to issue their own green bonds to also provide for the domestic resource mobilization that needs to happen as part of accountability. The sensitive topic of loss and damage, I look forward to the discussion at the COP28 because I think there's a fair claim that has been put forward. Now the negotiations will see how far we'll go. I think the political symbolism of the discussion is equally important if we talk about equity and a shared agenda. Now last but not least, carbon tax and carbon pricing. Very, very important. Unless you price it, unless you tax it, it often has little meaning. The only way to change behavior, productivity, the way we produce and consume, particularly at the large emitting countries, is if we price it more and we make that part of a global public good. But that's for part of a discussion. Last but not least, together with my, my friend and colleague, uh, Minister of Finance uh, of Indonesia, I co-chair the, the Global Coalition of Ministers of Finance for Climate Action. So a one-second pitch 
all ministers of finance, if not in the room, join this coalition. Make your budgets work for climate action. This is where the duty and opportunity of care lies. Thank you very much.